Hey, Matthew, Juliet, Eric, Gersiminder, Brianna, good morning. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, I'm going to go walk you through this PowerPoint um, so that uh, you know exactly what is expected from you or for you for the week. Okay, So let's go ahead and begin. So what I'd like to do is talk about some of the goals for this week. Um, obviously, um, we need to get you 100% proficient with your multiplication facts. Um, before we send you to fourth grade, and that is something that is just really important, and you've heard me preach this all year. Um, next, obviously, we want to talk about your reading level and slowly um, get you reading at grade level. Um, and the way that we do that is by assigning you material at your level, and then slowly we challenge yourself, challenge you guys, and and you challenge yourself to where, where you reach um, grade level content, which is around 600, 650 lexile. All right, so let's go ahead and begin. So here's one of the things that I'd like to ask that you guys do. Um, as you guys remember, early on in August and September, we asked you guys to, um, to practice skip counting. And so what we'd like to do is ask for you to um, think about those strategies and utilize them so that you can memorize your multiplication facts. I'll demonstrate that for you. A cool way of doing this also is by creating a multiplication chart in grid. So let me go ahead and kind of walk you through that. So I'm going to demonstrate. Obviously, we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. I keep going all the way to 12, obviously. Um, I'm just doing this to demonstrate. And then I'm going to do the same. One, two. So I've created a column. Now I'm creating a row. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I can go 10 only because I have more room. But um, what you want to do is you want to make a 12 by 12 grid. Okay. And most of us know our ones, our twos, our fives, and our tens. Um, so usually what will happen is if you remember extra math, um, these are usually the extra, uh, these are usually the multiplication facts that you may not know. So what we want to do is kind of ask you to work backwards. Start with the, the 12s, the 11s, um, the 9s, the 8s, and then start moving your way backwards. So, for example, 9 times 9, so I would kind of take a look right here visually. I would go start at 9, and then I would go all the way down, and then this number across, I'm going to write 81. I know that 9 times 9 is 81. 9 times 8, 72. 9 times 7, 63. And what you're doing is you're basically just creating a multiplication chart. Okay. Um, and so once again, uh, what we're doing is we're just matching up. So if, for example, if it was 8 times 4, we, we would move across and boom, that is 32. 4 times 7 is 28. So what I'd like you guys to do is do this daily. This I know it's a lot, but uh, this is something that is going to help you to think about the multiplication facts that we do not know. Okay, so once you're done with that, uh, we have a different strategy to help you. And once again, this is something that we practiced early in the year as well. Skip counting um, is something that uh, will help you to memorize your multiplication facts. So let's let's go ahead and count by. Let's let's say um, let's do sevens. 7, 14, 21. Now, you guys shouldn't count up from 21 to 28. You really should just have this memorized. You can do that for the first couple days, but hopefully, once again, um, you have this memorized. So 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42. You should have this memorized. This is how second graders were taught um, multiplication with repeated addition. As you guys can see, um, you obviously probably know how to skip count by your twos really quickly, your tens super easy, and your fives. Um, you know, everyone really can count by their tens super quick, 10, 20, 30, 40. You should do the same, should be able to do the same for all of these different numbers, okay? So once again, uh, please put that on a piece of paper, um, and you can see that so far, um, we're creating a 100 grid chart, we're practicing skip count, Skip counting and why? Well, that is basically to become 100% proficient. I want to ask that you guys get back on extra math and start practicing your multiplication facts 
each and every day. You may want to do multiple rounds. And the goal, I want to keep you guys updated on your progress. I, I want to see you guys. Um, if you guys remember um, that that scatter uh, that scatter chart, um, what we want is we want to see those scores just go all the way up. And eventually, um, once you're at 100 percent, then we'll do that for division. Um, but we want to see growth. We want to see things improving. And the only way that that occurs is by practicing, really practicing. Okay. So next, uh, we're going to move into um, daily reading. Uh, these uh, passages are leveled in the 300 to 400 range, Lexile range, which is where um, we're, our reading level is. Um, these should be quite independent. You, you shouldn't have much challenge or difficulty with uh, these passages. Now remember, these are fictions. So what you're going to do is you are going to read the passage daily, one passage, and then you are going to summarize it. Think about fiction, character, setting, problem, solution. I do have a template for you that'll, that'll support you with writing a summary of a narrative piece of genre. Okay, so in the story blank, obviously Frog and Toad, Henry and Mudge, there's a specific story. Make sure it's in quotation marks. Identify the setting, who the main character is. There probably is more than one main character. And then ultimately, uh, what, what challenges do um, the characters face? That would be the conflict or the problem. And it, is there a solution? So kind of take a look. You can see that if I were to use a... A small little annotation device. I would say that obviously the character is going to be solving the problem, and that would be um, the problem. And then solution usually how the plot rolls out is in the beginning of the story, a character and setting is introduced. There is a problem, and then there is a solution. So once again, um, what we have here is. Um, sequential um, elements of fiction, character, setting, problem, solution. Um, I'd like you guys to repeat this each and every day. Um, we'll check in midweek uh, with some updates on the multiplication facts and the progress that is occurring. All right, guys, good luck. Thank you so much for working hard on this. Um, I have faith in you that your multiplication facts proficiency and reading proficiency are going to skyrocket with a lot of hard work.